first. I hate hauling lumber. So I just, uh, welcome back by the way. I just hauled a bunch of lumber down here as you saw. Um, and we're gonna work on firming on the basement tonight. I don't have quite as much time as I had hoped tonight. Uh, there was quite a mess down here that I made. I had to clean those up. Um, so that's all taken care of. My family, my family came and brought me dinner, so that was awesome. Took a little bit of time, but that's okay. Totally worth it. So um, dinner's out of the way, cleaned up. Everything's all set up, ready to go here. Uh, I built these walls right here behind me. Here, I'll take a look at those. So we built these walls right here uh, the other day, and I actually have a time lapse of those, so cue that right now. All right, welcome back. So those walls are built. Now I have to connect them over here. So uh, this is gonna be a bedroom where I'm sitting, then a bathroom, and then a mechanical room over there on the end. So tonight we're gonna build those two walls. I got about an hour, uh, cause I gotta run to Home Depot, return some stuff, uh, buy some more equipment, so, or uh, more supplies, screws really. Um, so hopefully we can get this stuff done before it gets too dark, before we run out of light, um, before we gotta leave. So um, let's see what we can do. So uh, I'm gonna assemble the top plate, I'm gonna nail it to the ceiling, um, and then I'm gonna put all the uh, vertical studs in uh, after the fact. It's also really noisy in here when you're using one of these guys in a concrete, basically, bunker. Uh, so that works some good gear protection. It's definitely the worst part of any project is getting all your tools ready. Just had to go up to it and get that ladder. That's a time waster. So that's pretty fun. Between this side and that side, there's about an inch difference in height for my studs. So what are you gonna do, right? So I'm gonna cut a bunch of studs and hopefully they all fit. Okay, well there's an inch difference because I'm gonna pull them more. That's gotta go underneath of that one, not over top of it. I don't know what I was thinking. So I guess I gotta start over. a little bit better. I need nine of them at 103 and an eight. productive today. Um, I put those blocks in. I didn't actually attach the wall to it yet. I gotta plumb the wall and make sure everything's all nice and square before I do that. So uh, that'll be a job for another day. So now we gotta load up the trailer, um, head over to Home Depot, return some stuff, buy some new screws, maybe a new tape measure. Who knows? Let's see. Right, that is it for the day doing the wrap up in the Home Depot parking lot. Um, we got some tap cons. We're gonna mount those walls to the floor so they don't move anymore. New tape measure and a new pencil. Woohoo! 
Uh, I got the old styrofoam uh, insulation that we didn't need any more return. So that's all set to go. Um, tomorrow is another day. We're going to work on getting the rest of those walls up and going. Um, check back. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, give some updates. And uh, we're over on Instagram too. So Nate Hovinga over at Instagram. Uh, I post some updates uh, kind of between these videos over there too. So uh, be sure to check us out. Uh, comment, like below if you have any questions. Um, see you next time. Okay, so clearly summer in Michigan is not the time to be remodeling a house. Uh, I was just sweeping up uh, our basement. There's a bunch of insulation stuff on the floor here. And I found a whole bunch of like big old bumblebees or something. I don't even know what they are, but they're basically living on the floor in my insulation. So let's see. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this or not, but if you look, they're right there in the middle. There's a few of them, at least three, climbing around in there. And there's way more than that for sure. So I was just sweeping and all of a sudden there was like a swarm of them. So I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with those guys, uh, but that's probably where my sawhorse has to go. So. They gotta get out of here somewhere, somehow.